Toxic energy detected. See if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Can I see you for a second? Hey there, how's it going? Great, Urukai. You are better, I see. I could be worse, although I don't really see how. I can try and give you some info about the Shamas or the region of Shamasar if you would like. What can you tell me about the Shamas? 
They used to have greater numbers of their kind, like us guardians. But since Feyran and Croax began to rule Adelpha, they have disappeared in great numbers. Feyran's been killing them? That is what most fear, Ulukai. Feyran has made it illegal for any Shamaz to teach about the other Yods or of the Prophet Kazar. Those that do disappear. We have made efforts as well to keep alive the teachings of Kazar and the Yods, but we too lose more guardians every moon. I fear that one moon soon there will be no more of us left. So why does Feyran allow some of the Shamaz to live? He will always need Shamaz. They can use their essence to heal. Croax forces them to heal his soldiers, and Feyran makes them heal the workers so they can work harder for him. There was a time that none of the Shamaz would help Feyran. But when he continued to revert them until there were only a few left, they decided that they needed to stay alive to attempt to continue their teachings and agreed to Feyran's terms. They're on his side now? No, Ulukai. Never question the loyalty of a Shamaz. They will all be delighted to see you and will help you the best they can. Kazar suggested this and the Shamaz have listened. The only reason you should ever fear a Shamaz is... Is when? Forgive me, Urukai, but they were told by Kazar that if your essence was discovered to be evil, they were not to help you. But I am certain that will not be the case. Lexicon accessed. What can you tell me of Shamazar? Large temples are placed all around that region. They are all used to go to pay tribute to the Yods of the Essences. These moons, very few are allowed to travel to them, and the offering plates beneath the idols atop the temples stand bare. Why can't you travel to them? Feyran has all but destroyed all forms of worship to the other Yods. Now his Yod, the Yod Fey, is the only Yod all can worship frequently. For the other three, all must do it in secret. Only the Shamaz are allowed to travel much to these other temples, but even their time there is limited. What else can you tell me of Shamazar? Recent rains there have made the ground very dangerous in some parts. Be careful around the dark land areas. Also, the waters of Shamazar hold danger. I even hear stories of a large, dangerous beast in the waters behind a temple, but I do not know which one. Can I ask you something? Hi there. Ah, you walk among us at last. The Yods be praised. Thanks. Would you like to know about the regions of Talanzar or Motazar? What can you tell me of Motazar? This region is one of wasted land, as well as Talanzar. Only a few thousand moons ago, large trees and many animals made Motazar a wonderful place. Now, the land dies more every moon. Only the most vicious plants and animals live there now. What happened to it? Feyran mines a mineral there, which he uses to make the soldiers weapons. As more of this mineral is taken from the ground, the region dies. The Shamaz believe that the mineral is the link between the Yaz and Adelpha itself. But I have no feelings about this. What is this mineral? You will need to ask another Talon this, Ulukai. I have just become a guardian and am only beginning my studies. I am only now being taught about Motazar. What else have you been taught? Motazar supplies all of this mineral for Feyran. I remember something about a large tear in the ground that separates two parts of the region, and large holes left from old mines. I do not remember much else. Lexicon accessed. Tell me about Talanzar. Talanzar was a great region once, full of life and color. Now it is a wasteland. Many say that the Yads have done this because they know this to be the home of Feyran, and they attempt to revert him. But I am not sure I believe this. Feyran is always there? Most of the time, yes. He built a great palace there. Around it lies the city of Okriana, the only city in Talanzar. 
almost all regions of Adelpha send supplies to Talanzar, for this is the center of Croax's best soldiers. Sounds like a busy place. It is. Many Talon live there, trying to do little to attract the wrath of Feyran or Croax. You should not enter this region until you feel ready to do so. Soldiers are everywhere inside Ogriana. But if you ever find yourself inside Okriana, you will find that staying off the main road is the best way to avoid the soldier patrols. Lexicon accessed. HKP-12 ammo located. Excuse me, pal. Hello. You have my greetings, Ulukai. I have just returned from Okasankar, and I am glad to see you are well. Where? The region of Okasankar. I was there because I was the last guardian to leave Okar, the region where we found you. It was my duty to make sure no trail was left by us that would lead the soldiers to us. What can you tell me about this Okar place? That region is where we found you, Ulukai. Kazar spoke of your arriving in that region, and for many moons we hid among the trees, avoiding the soldiers of Croax. We had all but given up hope that you would arrive when we saw the bright light of your arrival. Then what happened? You arrived near a group of soldiers. They were about to discover you when we attacked them and drove them away. You attacked? Only with sleep darts and other not violent means. We never revert other Talan. After this, you were brought here to safety. Only I remained behind to hide our tracks. That region is a very dangerous one. Full of mystery it is. What kind of mystery? There are stories that the ruins of the region are the remainders of the ancients. I doubted this until I visited the region on the quest of recovering you. During the moons we hid out in the region, I saw what I think was a Daoka, except this one was very large. It had symbols at the top of it to a place I have never seen on symbols of other Daoka. But I will never know the answer to its secret. Why is that? That Daoka was broken, if it even was a Daoka. Others with me thought it to be a monument of some kind. Most Talan do not believe in the story of the ancients, but I like to think they could have been. Lexicon accessed. Tell me about this Oka Sankar. It is a region full of water. The city of Sayana lies around a mountain that rises high above the water there. Many say the region used to be mostly mountains countless moons ago, and that the Yods became angry and filled it with water to drive away the Ancient Ones there. The Ancient Ones? The stories about them are many, and each is different. So many moons have passed since they were supposed to have been here that I fear no one Talan knows if they existed. What can you tell me about them? The most popular story is that there were two races in the beginning, Talan and the Ancients. The Yods watched as both races began to live on Adelpha. When the Yods saw the Ancients hurting Adelpha, they reacted quickly to rid Adelpha of them. Many Talan were lost in their anger, but the few that survived spoke with the Yods and promised to never harm Adelpha again. You don't believe this story? I do not know, Ulukai. Some moons I do not. But then I think about the Daoka and other objects that no Talan knows how they arrived on Adalpha, and I wonder. Lexicon accessed. HKP-12 ammo located. <laughs> 